Hello dear students, I would like to welcome you all on the online platform of KRT Arts, BH Commerce and AM Science College, Nashik. I am Dr. Bharati Rajivusle, working as an assistant professor in the department of English. Today in this video lecture, I would like to deal the poem, The World is Too Much With Us by William Wordsworth. Dear students, in the previous lecture, we discussed the topics or the poems The Fortune Tailor by Joseph Hurtado and Where the Mind is Without Fear by Ravindranath Tagore. Now, in this lecture, we will deal with the poem The World is Too Much With Us by William Wordsworth. Let's see about the poet. Dear students, we know that this poet he belongs to England. He was born in 1770 and died in 1850. He born in the Lake District and he was the son of Atten. The Lake District, it is in Northern England. Actually, this poet at very early age, he lost his parents. After the death of his parents, he was sent to a Hawkshead Grammar School. Hawkshead is a village in the heart of Lake District. After that, he completed his next education in St. John's College, Cambridge. He joined it in 1787. So this poet, during his stay at Cambridge, he spent his summer vacation in a long walking tour to revolutionary France. And so also, this poet, he was impressed by the French Revolution. In 1795, after receiving a leg legacy, Wordsworth lived with his sister Dorothy, first in Dorset and then at Alfoxdale, close to his friend and a fellow poet, that is S.T. Coleridge. S.T. Coleridge and William Wordsworth both belongs to romantic tradition of poetry. Both belongs to the same time and they were very close friends. Now, let's see the poet's literary contribution. The poet describes the different periods of his life vividly in his works, The Prelude. After that, The Lyrical Ballads, it's a collection of poems and it is published in 1798 and Actually, it's a milestone in the history of romantic poetry. It marked the beginning of the genre of a romantic poetry. So, what is romantic poetry? Idealism, escapism, or return to God and to nature are the characteristics of a romantic poetry. The poet Wordsworth and Coleridge both published the lyrical, lyrical ballads in 1798 together and they changed the poetic practice in the time. The poems in the collection were markedly different from those of Wordsworth's predecessors and essentially marked the beginning of the genre, the romantic poetry. Glorification of nature, awareness and acceptance of emotions, celebration of artistic creativity and imagination. Emphasis on aesthetic beauty, solitude, spiritual and supernatural elements, vivid sensory descriptions are some features of romantic poetry. After that, the poet published, William Wordsworth published his next collection that is Poems in Two Volumes and it is published in 1807. It contains many notable poems like Resolution and Independence and Intimations of Immortality from Recollections of Early Childhood. 
Now, we are going to talk about the central theme of this poem. Actually, this poem is one of his most popular sonnets or we can say it is celebrated poem. It is a sonnet. So, at first, dear students, I would like to talk on sonnet. What is sonnet? Actually, sonnet, it's a type of a poem. It's a poetic form and it contains 14 lines. Actually, this form or we can say sonnet, it is originated in Italy in the 13th century. Sonnet, it contains 14 lines and it is divided into two parts that is octave and sesquit. This poem, it is a meditative poem. The poet focuses on the withering connection between humankind and nature. And the poet stresses or he gives importance to nature. He is trying to tell us how the nature is important in our life. This poem is actually composed during the time of industrial revolution and how this industrial revolution, how it, how it is affected the life of all human beings we can say and how uh, there is a change in the society. How the people day by day, how they were becoming more materialistic, how they were spending their time in uh, gaining materialistic pleasure and how they were away from the nature. So the poet, the poet wants to focus from this poem how the human beings are detached from the nature and he, want, he wants to make us aware about all these things, how the human beings are engrossed in material pursuits. Dear students, we are also aware of this fact, how this industrialization, how it replaced our priorities, how we are becoming more and more materialistic and how we are hurting nature. So in this way, in this poem, the poet focuses on the changed world or we can say the total scenario of the society which is changed after industrialization and the poet wants to highlight these points from this poem. So he lays stress on going back to nature. Here in this poem, the poet laments the evils of a materialism which have made man insensitive towards the nature, towards the beauty of the nature. And the poet expresses a, dis a distaste for contemporary civilization and praises nature worship. So, dear students, in this poem, we know that how the poet, how he uh, is feeling very, very uh, sorrow or sad for all these things and uh, he is giving stress or we can say he is urging us for nature worship. So in this way in today's lecture we discussed the theme or the central idea of this poem. Dear students hope you might have understood this lecture. We will meet again in the next video with a new topic. New topic means in detail we are going to learn this poem. Okay, thank you.